Hello everybody and welcome to today's episode of the Sister Interviews. I am really excited to be sharing this journey with you as we connect with some incredible small business owners and female entrepreneurs. So get comfortable and let's get started. everybody and welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for another sister interview today. I have the incredible Nicolette joining us today from the Goddess Boss Coven who is going to be talking all about how you can use the new moon and the full moon to work with your business and on a personal level. So why don't we get started? Firstly, thank you for joining us Nicolette. Thanks for being here and why don't we just start with you introducing yourself and your business. All right, thanks for having me Marilise. Um, I am an astrological business consultant and basically what I do is I take all of my trend forecasting and business development and uh, branding knowledge and experience and I apply it to you and your needle chart and we build a friggin' business from it basically. So that is, that is what I do. And of course the moon comes into play. <sighs> if you don't manifest with the moon, I just feel like you're not going anywhere to be completely honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Say it like it is. <laughs> yep, exactly. Amazing. So let's talk a bit more about your journey. Like how did you awaken spiritually? How did you get into connecting with the moon? What was your kind of path for, for that? Um, I was a witch when I was really young, which is funny. Um, and then I definitely got more cynical and shut down the older I got. And then I was uh, in the fashion industry. I went to school for for almost five years for that and then I right out of school actually when I was finishing up in school I started a label um, very successful for someone my age and um, I hated it I hated it it was so unfulfilling um, the only time I ever felt good about my work was when I got to see how I would I would meet people either in costume and they, and they would be all lit up because they had permission to be themselves suddenly um, and yeah, that's, that's the only part I liked about it. But basically I just was so unfulfilled and I burned out really, really hard. And yeah, I, I think my first spell that I ever did was like an anti-depression spell because I just felt so unfulfilled in my life. And then um, after that burnout, I really just wanted to help women not experience that level of unfulfillment again. So that kind of cracked things open for me. Mm, yeah, that's really important. I think burnout is just so strong isn't it for women especially and do you feel like working with the moon is a good way to combat having burnout oh yeah definitely um I guess it's comparable to syncing up with your own menstrual cycle honestly mm. because you know when the moon is growing your energy is growing and then when the moon is waning or shrinking or whatever you want to call it your energy is shrinking too. <laughs> so it's, um, yeah, it's really helpful to just feel aligned with the universe and to, again, give yourself permission basically to rest because your energy is drained. Like you just had an explosion of energy with the full moon essentially. So just to, to be like a guide, I guess, for when to go inward more so is how I look at it. Mm. Yeah, I like that. And that really leads beautifully to my next question, which is why is working with the moon important? on a personal level, but also from a business level, if you're kind of helping people to create their businesses, why is it important on both those levels? Everything. <laughs> I guess, yeah, when I think about how, like I, you know, I had my third eye open when I was doing yoga and then, then I got into the moon phases and just tracking them. First of all, it's like, it's powerful to be able to express yourself and feel in tune with what the rest of the world is feeling. And again, to know, like, you know, when to manifest and when to uh, come, you know, overcome blocks. But in your business, the way that I found manifesting the moon with the moon to be powerful is it gives you set goals. It gives you, um, you know, energetic goals. And it basically, what it does is it just lines up all these blocks for you to overcome in order for you to achieve those goals. So I feel like when people get into manifesting, and the law of attraction for the first time, they're just constantly like, oh, I want success in my business, or oh, I want to find love, or oh, I want this. And the universe 
is basically with the moon and of course, you know, all the, the planet movement, um, it's just giving you a goal. And it's like, this is the energy you have to work with. And my tough love ass is like, if you don't work with this energy, you're wasting your time because this is what's going on. And if you don't want this, then you're out of line with the universe, basically. Mm. And then I guess with, with business, um, one of the things that I'm, I'm working on launching right now, and it's in my course as well, is your Instagram content should be in tune with the moon. Because everyone's feeling, whether they're aware of it or not, everyone's feeling the same way each day based on the moon's movement. So you might as well tune into it and speak to that emotion that everyone's going through. So it's everything. Is to mm. summarize everything. <laughs> that's really important actually from a business perspective to recognize that if everybody's energetically in that space uh, when the moon is in a different aspect or sign or whatever that yeah you can be speaking to that and drawing on that and uh, and using that and utilizing it positively as well as just following the cycles i think that's the biggest thing that i've learned from kind of working with you and following your work is that it's really important to know which sign and which of those degrees in the sign that the moon is actually in for manifesting or setting intentions or, you know, rituals to release. And actually that's something I hadn't really known before. I just thought, you know, new moon intentions, full moon forgiveness or release. So how does that help in terms of connecting on a deeper level with what aspect of the sign it's in, which 10 degrees and its deacon? God, how much do you want me to talk, Marilise? However much um, you want. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, yeah, obviously. I shouldn't say obviously, though, because, yes, I have met people who think that you manifest with the full moon. So, yeah, um, with the new moon, you're right. That's when you set intentions. And then the full moon is when you uh, release something that's basically blocking you from, you know, making those in uh, intentions come to fruition. Mm. But one thing that I've I've noticed is really helpful to explain to women is your intentions won't come to fruition in that one cycle and this is why it's really important to pay attention to the signs and the degrees is because each new moon is a six month journey so each new moon is um you know we'll set intentions that align with that specific degree you know the star that aligns with it and the the sign and the 10 degrees that it's in you'll set a specific goal that the universe basically wants you to achieve and then the moon cycles after that are designed to help you overcome specific blocks that are keeping you from making that intention happen. And yeah, it's just under, uh, it's important to understand it's a six month journey. It's not like, it's not just a one mm -hmm. moon cycle journey. So I feel like that teaches us patience, first of all. And yeah, just helping us understand ourselves, basically. Yeah, it is. It's a journey. That's, that's how I describe it. That's yeah, that's really interesting, actually, what you're saying, because I, I don't feel like that's often clarified. But mm -hmm. so should we be at each new moon thinking ahead six months? Where do I want to be in six months? What are my intentions for those six months aligning with where this particular new moon is and which 10 degrees it's in, right? Yeah. Oh, I like that. That's a good way to think about it. Yeah. And again, I feel like with manifesting and I shouldn't speak so so um vaguely but i just mean what i see basically on instagram i guess um is people kind of get into this instant gratification area mm -hmm. when they're thinking about manifesting and then they get all butthurt and stop believing in it when it doesn't work right away so yeah i think that's incredible to think of it as a six month goal like where do i want to be in six months and again just give yourself the patience to work through those full moon releases that completely align with that initial intention and it's basically six blocks that you're going to have to overcome in order to make that uh, intention happen and you know come into reality so yeah it is it is massive and uh, for when I first started out manifesting with the moon I was I was clueless and uh, I just celebrated uh like the wolf moon or you know the strawberry moon or mm. um i think that's from is it from the farmer's almanac i don't even know yeah why that rings that. a bell or something yeah, right? yeah yeah and it's mostly about tuning into what's happening that time of year within nature which is great that's where i started and then i learned about the signs and then i learned about the deacons which is 10 degrees which in the within those 30 degrees of the sign and then, of course, focusing on the star that is 
closely aligned with that, you know, when the moon is fullest or when it becomes new again. That really gives a very specific look at what you should be manifesting. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's really interesting. And again, it's something I learned so much from you. <laughs> but that's something else that I like is how you always link it to some kind of mythology or not even like you making it up, but it is linked to mythology. Mm -hmm. And the way you explain that I always find is actually it helps me to um, interpret how that's going to connect with me and what it means for me. But also, as you say, for what it means for everybody, because we're all connected. So if we're looking at the kind of the new moon, and we're saying it's going to be six months until we've kind of manifested these intentions. How do we know when those six months are up? Is there a way to, to tell that? Oh yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's why it's important to pay attention to the sign. Um, so I don't, I don't want to date this video by talking about a specific moon cycle, but honestly, every, every new moon, it's in a specific sign and it's um, in six months, six months um, ahead that's when the moon will be full in that exact same sign, but it'll be right. a different degree of the sign, obviously. Mm. So when we're talking about deacons, or I think in the UK, in the early East, you're supposed to say deacon, just ahead. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I don't really mind. I don't all mind. over the place, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm just a Canadian hillbilly, so I say deacon. But yeah, it's, uh, you know, paying attention to which 10 degree area that is in. And then it's kind of, it's, just incredible to learn about this and again to study the the specific areas of the zodiac because not only is it you know Sagittarius or Scorpio and it's got the same kind of theme but it's kind of a level up from where you started so let's say you're manifesting with a five degrees Scorpio moon uh, the full moon in that same sign six months later it's going to be you know just for example 15 degrees so that would move it like that would up level the mission into the next 10 degree slot. And then I just, I do want to specify that your manifestation, it won't just happen. Obviously, like mm -hmm. you're going to have to overcome these blocks, but these, these full moons and all these moon cycles between that initial first new moon and that full moon in the same sign, it's just helping you gain strength and wisdom. And again, confidence in yourself in order to, pursue that what you first intended i feel like the full moon is is when the journey is complete and then you get to actually work on what you wanted to manifest because we're kind of caught up in all of our human stuff and that just helps us really zero in on our goal honestly mm, that's really interesting yeah so you can kind of set an intention with that new moon as you say let's say it's new moon in scorpio knowing that when you have the next full moon in scorpio that's when that journey is complete and as you say it doesn't mean that it's completely manifested mm -hmm. but it does mean that it's it's coming and you've hopefully worked through what all the other moons have brought up for you on an emotional or physical level so Hopefully. That's really interesting. So, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, it's okay if we don't, if we, you don't have to be perfect, but right, it's, it's important to, to acknowledge that these things are happening. So, okay, so can we get more specific then? So can you give us a bit more info on how we can manifest with the new moon and how we can release with the full moon? What would be like yes. a good way to do it? Any tips or rituals or anything you recommend? Oh yeah, absolutely. So um, I think this is actually part of how we first met is I have a, a free 20 page guide on manifesting with the eight moon cycles. And again, I don't want to stress people out. You don't have to align with every single moon phase. Not everyone is like, that's my whole career. So of course <laughs> I get to do it. But of course, yeah, with the, with the new moon, it is about setting intentions. So I always recommend people get a candle with the corresponding colors. Right. And of course, like I didn't decide this, which colors are assigned to each, uh, each sign. But that's one thing that, I'm, that really, really pulled me into astrological branding and getting to basically make a career out of it is the colors that basically Im help you embody, embody the sign. So mm -hmm. I always recommend buying a candle, you know, if it's Aries, it's, it's like bright red or scarlet or, or like orange red, buying a candle in that same color. And then of course, you know, looking into the specific sign, again, just an example, Aries would be bravery or, you know, just charging forward into life is really what I think of uh, with Aries. 
yeah, there's so much bravery in the mythology behind it. I won't get into it, but um, you would set intentions, you know, just write down a goal. And I always, I always, again, this is just me going like really deep into it. Cause I, I have like a witch background, right? You can choose a corresponding oil. Uh, you can even carve in, in, you know, moon glyphs or like which the witch alphabet whatever you're comfortable with it really is just about you as long as it aligns with that sign mm. then you're good and then of course just like hold that candle in that corresponding color if it's dressed in oils or you know however you've, you've treated the candle just hold it and picture you living that reality and then as as it burns just understand like that's being released into the universe like your wish is going out there and then the full moon of course, we've got um, a couple rituals inside of, you know, when the moon is growing as well. It's all about taking action, basically. Uh, but with the full moon, again, like that's that energy is growing in you. It is just and it can turn into frustration. It can turn into excitement. It can manifest in so many different ways. But just when the moon is growing, everything's building. So we need to release that energy in a positive way. And you're going to, again, if you study into the specific sign and degree of that moon, you're going to see what is holding you back and why you're frustrated. Or, you know, if you're being too specific with your goals, like getting tunnel vision, it'll help you to release that. So again, I, I love candle magic just because I've got my witchy background. So <laughs> I always recommend people use black with the full moons because okay. it is just such a releasing color and again it helps you ground so yeah i always just recommend again you can dress it or carve whatever you're trying to overcome into it and for for the full moons i actually recommend you burn your intentions like set that shit on fire mm. just so you can actually watch it leave and it's it's quite dramatic right like full moons are very <laughs> high energy so yeah and then of course you're just kind of gathering your energy again and opening yourself back up because like i said you can get tunnel vision when you manifest right so mm. the full moon just helps you release it. And then we're, we're seeing what the universe is giving us and we're opening ourselves up to it and we're collecting our energy again for the next cycle that's about to come. So yeah. Is that, is that not Shelly enough? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. It's really cool. So let me see, let me check about this right. <laughs> Cause I want to do this <laughs> so I can do like, let's say we're sticking with this new moon in Scorpio. I can write my intentions and then in six months when it's the full moon in Scorpio, I can burn those intentions mm -hmm. and I can write out any frustrations I've had during that six month journey of anything that I have, you know, I've experienced or been through or that hasn't happened or that has happened, maybe not the way I wanted it to. And I can burn that as well if I want to, you know, if I want to get into burning stuff. And then I've kind of released all of that and let that go and just handed it over, surrendered it to the universe, right? And mm. I mean, I know as well that a lot of people use full moons for forgiveness rituals. Is that something that you'd recommend? Or do you think it depends really on what the full moon's in? Honestly, that's the first I've heard of that. So I just... This is the thing with magic to me anyway, from my perspective is you are wisdom. Like you, you know, deep inside of you, even if you call yourself a, a baby witch or you're just opening up to this, you know, what's right. So these, you know, rituals and guidelines and even like studying into astrology, it's all just portals into your own knowledge basically. So if you're feeling called to do a forgiveness ritual with the new moon again like you are releasing absolutely 100 percent. i'm just so very nerdy with <laughs> with with the signs that again i look i look at the encompassing mythology and then we go into the 10 degrees and we look at the planet alignments we look at the star there and at right in there through that whole tunnel i get an answer and it's usually one word like judgment or control and it's mm. it comes back to that so a lot of people do need to, you know, ask for forgiveness or to, I guess, forgive themselves too. That's, yeah. that's how I see it is asking yourself for forgiveness for being so hard on yourself or God knows the way that we can ask ourselves for forgiveness. Right. Absolutely. I love this. And as you say, like this will definitely work on a business level because if you're going to start a new project or, you know, about to do a collaboration or launch something, then you can look at the new moon and think, okay, I can set these intentions for this project and then in six months I can release them and burn them and you know let go of anything around it 
so I've said to you in the past that I really wanted to use a new moon to manifest a boyfriend mm -hmm. and you were like no you can't do that because <laughs> the moon's not in anything romantic right now yeah. so it's important right that even though we might feel we want to manifest something if the moon isn't connected to it we're actually kind of wasting our time we're wasting our magic that's that's correct right absolutely yeah and yes like I again I always po apologize for my bluntness but it's true <laughs> I just feel like you're wasting your your time you know your valuable time if you're again like this is why I love the moon rituals and how they open us up and get us to explore what the universe is giving us because we get tunnel vision on our goals we're like I only want this one thing and if it doesn't happen I don't believe in magic anymore and really you're just missing out on everything else all the other opportunities that the universe is violently throwing at you and then again i feel like and i see this in, in just the general public if you're not tuned into the moon you're going to get like the backhand of it you're going to get mm -hmm. the negative areas of it because you know every sign has its positives and negatives but if you're refusing that magic i feel and i've seen it of course i feel like you're just going to get the pain of that sign. So yeah, wasting your time. <laughs> That's so interesting and so helpful <laughs> and probably explains why I've not manifested a boyfriend just yet. So. <laughs> Fair enough. So the next question that I have for you, Nicolette, is if I was a client and I was coming to see you, how would you work with me? What would you do? Would you do it differently if it's just for a personal reading or differently if it's for a business? What kind of things do you offer if I was looking to book a session with you? Honestly, I, I used to be quite open with my services and I would just, you know, offer an astrological reading. But now, just from what I've seen and obviously stepping into my own power, I know that it's business. Like that is my superpower. I can see money anywhere. I can see your power. I can tell you your purpose in life, how to fulfill it, how to build a business from it. And in the past, again, like I've been so, this is why finding your niche is so important. I've been so open and again like wanting to please everyone that i just again i feel like i wasted my time or another person's time because it's not what i'm passionate about and if you don't actually feel connected to what you're sharing with the world it's going to mm -hmm. come out that way right yeah nowadays i only meet with people for um astrological career mapping sessions and we take them through their chart. And I, I love doing these sessions with people as opposed to just giving them their chart, which I used to do again, learning, right? It's because I can see the themes because I know this info so well. If I just look at, you know, your second house, your Jupiter, your sun brand mission, and you know, your 10th house, I can see a theme in your life. And again, it's not just a little career window. This is your life we're talking about. Mm. I can see a theme and I can tell them what to open themselves up to, what to look for, opportunities to align with, wisdom to seek out. Cause so many of us just get shut right down again to our own intuition, our own wisdom. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I definitely focus only on career. And then again, when I, when I nowadays, like my market funnel works so well and so seamlessly, women come to the goddess boss coven, they see that we're manifesting with the moon, they get into that themselves, and then they'll want to learn more. Uh, but back in the day, I had goddess boss coven is manifesting with the moon. And I had my Leo and Wonderless page as my business account. And they needed to go together. Because if if you want to pursue a career, again, like a soul aligned astrological guided career if you're not manifesting with the moon again you're you're not growing and again that sounds so harsh but it's so true because i've literally worked with clients who refuse to tune into the moon and they go nowhere and they get frustrated mm. so it's yeah they have to go together they have to mm. yeah i love that i think that's really important actually and i think as i just said <laughs> If, as I was trying to align something and it wasn't working because it just wasn't aligned, you know, and you can't force the universe, right? These things are at, beyond our control. We can't choose what the moon is in. So mm -hmm. it's important that we acknowledge that and work with that. So I love that. And you just mentioned the Goddess Boss Coven. Let's talk a bit more about that. And let's talk about your Align course and how that can help people as well, because it's really good. <laughs> mm, thank you. That's sweet. It's funny. Again, like this is why I always try and get people away from that instant gratification when you're building a business or doing anything in your life. But uh, when I started the Goddess Boss Coven, it was just like pretty pastel pictures. And my intention for it was to interview women all over the world with, you know, spiritual based careers. 
And I kept hitting a wall. Like I just wanted to, I used to do something called witch of the week and I would promote someone every Wednesday. And I literally ran out of people to promote within like four weeks. Every once in a while, like when I meet someone like you, I feature them still, but that really opened me up to seeing, okay, so I actually have to meet people and help them build these careers. That's, that's how it helped me. So yeah, my intention was always just to, again, like raise women up, empower them, make them feel like queens and again, see their power and promote their business. So that's kind of what I do now. That's where my business has taken me. And uh, I used to just want to take people through what I felt as my awakening. And it was, you know, learning not to burn out, which I'm still actually learning. And um, a lot of, you know, health issues and tuning into your menstrual cycle and all this content that I wanted to share with the world. It led me to needing to interview women who are professionals in this area and yeah the goddess boss coven has just changed so much and now i'm seeing after putting this pressure on myself with the coven instagram to just constantly pump out you know this is what's going on today this is what you should tune into again like i said women see this and they're like oh what else can i learn from astrology so the uh, the business that i was running before helping women launch their career it just came together Hmm. So yeah, now in the Align course, obviously like people learn about the moon first and the first step in the course is to align. I teach everyone like everything I know about astrology and I was a manifesting coach before this. That's my second house. I just fulfill that duty. <laughs> uh, that's yeah, like an entire module. And then, you know, the second step is branding and creating your business. And I feel like the word brand again is misunderstood just as manifesting is Branding is your business. It's not just the colors or the fonts or what you're going to post on Instagram. Branding is your brand mission. It's how you're going to serve your clients. It is everything in your business. So yeah, that's the second step. And then third is launching, which is terrifying to people, but it's, it's not, again, I don't want to like say anything bad about other business coaches, but it's not a one, two, three launch. Yeah. It's uh, what do people need from me? How can I serve you? Where is this going? You just have to be open to change and get yourself out there, get your voice out there. And then of course, step four in the Align course is astrologically aligned marketing. That's huge. Cause again, with the moon, you're speaking to people's emotions constantly. And if you're trying to force a message or, you know, like go against world events or how people are feeling, you're again, just wasting your energy. Right. So mm. Yeah super important to tune into the moon for every, every aspect of your life. But for business, that's how I use it for sure. Mm, I love that. I want to just hang on to the Align course for a minute and just say from my perspective, it's really good. It's really good. You have put so much time and effort into it. Each module has just so many sessions because you've put so much effort into sharing your knowledge and using it in a way that people can actually really benefit and it can really empower them and they can really understand it. You know, you're a great teacher. And I think that's something that, yeah, if you're looking for a course that's going to really show you how to start a business, how to do that in a really aligned way with your signs, your chart, and also with the moon, then this mm -hmm. is definitely the course for you. And as you said, it's not just a three-step process and boom, you've got a a business off you go there's more to it than that and it's actually about really understanding yourself so that you can really understand your client your target audience right because you always say to me who were you three or four years ago that's your client that's your kind of target client so you need to be understanding yourself and remembering the journey that you've been through so that you can draw on that and then connect that to your branding and connect it to the, the moon and the signs so there's loads to it and I love the way you break it down in terms of the course actually and and all the assignments that you set are good fun and you're always there if ever I have a question which as a Libran <laughs> I always do I'm always like Nicolette hang on have I done this right so yeah definitely I think there's it's a fantastic course and I'm really enjoying it so Thank you. I really recommend it. No, I really recommend it. And if you're just so new to this process and if you don't know your chart or if you think that you know your, your natal chart and you think, actually, I just want a bit of clarification or a reminder, definitely book to see Nicolette and have one of those sessions. And she just breaks everything down in such an easy, digestible, understandable way that you think, oh, 
yeah, I can do this. I can understand it and I can implement it. And I think that's important actually that people don't just get overloaded with information and leave and think, well, that was cute. You know, like, mm. I think you're the same as me. I want people to have a reading and then really integrate it into their life. Right. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I think again, working with, with you and all these women in the course, cause I'm always just screaming at you guys to give me feedback on how I'm teaching. <laughs> I think, I think it's all the Virgo in my chart that really helps me relate it to people. Cause it's, mm. it's again, it's, spiritual information it's it's tapping into who you are and your own intuition but if you that's my magic is I ground it and I'm like mm. this is how you make money with it basically <laughs> I got the Virgo brain so yeah definitely it's been amazing learning this process and seeing my own career change and now I just feel like like we got it we're doing it that's right it's aligned so yeah that's amazing yeah so let's just dive a bit more into the coven which is your monthly membership and let's just talk about what that is and how people can find it and what they can kind of enjoy from it. Mm, yeah, it's the coven. Again, it's funny to see all these different facets of my business finally come together. So yeah, I, I again, I began the Goddess Wells Coven Instagram to promote other women. And then as, a, as I was posting, you know, daily astrology information and hosting these moon rituals and teaching people how to manifest with it, I really saw that with women, uh, again, this is something in my life that I never had before. So it's brought me women like you and, you know, just everyone that we're connected with. I saw that manifesting together is where the magic is. Of course, mm -hmm. you can tune into it and, you know, go through your own journey. And it's, of course, it's all about you. But to see that other women are going through what you're going through and feeling what you're feeling, it's just freeing, I suppose. Like you just feel so empowered and again, aligned because we're all going through the same thing. It's just a different area of our life. So that is where I see power in the coven. And just thinking about my own life again, because you know, your target market is you in the past. Mm. My, I was so frigging broke. I was the poorest of the poor when I was starting my business. I was that person that was like, I will eat rice for a year. I just need to start this business. I don't care. So I'm expecting to meet women there. And that's why I made it a dollar a month. So you can access this website. Like it's a social networking website and fingers crossed. We replace another not so spiritually aligned uh, social <laughs> networking website one day. Cause I, mm, who could that know, be? <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> All these, these women who are just like looking to connect. I'm like, come over here. We're, we're nice and we're supportive. And, and yeah, it's just a dollar a month and the dollar membership gives you access to, of course, like the website and you create a profile, you get to meet all these other women, you can talk about anything in the feed and we have uh, free groups. We've got our goddess moon circle that we do twice a month. And again, in seeing all these women connect, everyone else is starting to, you know, meet and collaborate and start projects together. So it's magic. And of course I have, you know, my a couple options in there as well for upgrades. You can do uh, my, I guess it's called a manifesting with the moon planner, uh, which is just a subscription. I've had a $5 a month subscription I've had before that. So you can, again, plan your life with the moon. And I'm just seeing how this platform and this, again, like bringing all these magical women together has given me an opportunity to create a safe space and then give them options to learn if, if they're there but again if they're not it's just like come meet all the amazing women in the world basically <laughs> so fingers crossed that keeps building and my goal with that um app is to one day just have it available in the app store which is thirty thousand dollars a year so we got we need more members please um because <laughs> i would love for these women who feel like lost and just they don't know who to connect with to just see the goddess boss coven app in the app store and download it and meet a world of mentors and just feel like you're not alone so that's my goal so you know no big deal a couple months we'll achieve that right yes absolutely <laughs> i believe in you for sure <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today nicola and for sharing all of your amazing wisdom around the new moon and the full moon and i will put all the links to your mighty networks membership 
and also obviously to the planner which by the way is amazing it's beautiful it's a day-by-day -day monthly planner for what's going on with the moon every single day and how you can work with it and also you've got your manifesting with the moon right so we can know what to do for each phase and you can find Nicolette on her Instagram, which her main Instagram at the moment is Goddess Boss Coven. So I put all the details in the description box so you can find her and go ahead and book your session, connect with Nicolette, find out more about yourself and your natal chart and how you can use that to the best of your ability to really manifest and create the life that you desire and the business that you desire as well, right? Thank you so much. This is actually really fun. I was not <laughs> actually really fun. I, was like, I was like, what are we going to talk about? But then, yeah, as soon as you ask questions, I'm like, blah, blah, blah. so yeah. <laughs> what are we going to talk about? When do we not <laughs> talk? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, precisely. I get it. Okay. It was so much fun. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for joining us and I will see you all in next week's video. Bye.